how's it going everybody? Pragmatic Addict here, back for another trail reaction. So this is for a movie that I've heard some stuff here and there. Uh, it is called Boogeyman. Now, this is going to be a very vague description because I know absolutely nothing about this film. Other than the fact that it is directed by Rob Savage who did Host back in 2020 as well as the recent Dash Cam. Now, this is not a remake of the, what is it, 2003-2004 horror film back in the day. This is actually a completely different movie uh, adapted from, I believe, a short story from Stephen King. Again, I don't know anything about this, but I'm surprised that we're getting this trailer so early as in like January. Because we have we don't even have like a release date up to this point, at least up to my knowledge. This is again one of those titles that we know is coming out in 2023, but we haven't really had like a release date, no trailer. I mean there are movies like that have release dates for this year horror films, like Insidious, for example, that don't even have a trailer. So with this one being one of those to be to be announced release dates for 2023 horrors i'm surprised that we're getting a trailer now we'll see what we get with this trailer guys maybe we'll get a release date let's check out this trailer though okay get in here i don't know how you sleep with all these lights reminds me already of the intro to the 2003 boogeyman which i know this isn't that movie or based off that movie i don't believe Maybe it is, actually. I don't know. It looks like that movie. Okay. I mean, it's a movie called Boogeyman. I don't think it's going to be, you know, hugely different than your typical Boogeyman story. Plus, it's from Stephen King. So, I mean, it's probably just your classic tale of the Boogeyman. I will say, though, I'm really happy that Rob Savage is tackling something like a Stephen King project. Considering he's only done stuff for like on demand or shutter. Oh, that was cute. That was a cute little camera technique. Ah, that was a fun little jump scare there. See, I don't usually like jump scares. I don't think anybody does, but I like when they do it. To the point where you know they're coming, but they try to get creative with it as well. It's dark. It's like all those spooky monsters you think are hiding under your bed. It's not real. What is this? This is looking like your typical PG-13. Monster movie. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. It's the thing that comes for your kids when you're not paying attention. You believe me, don't you? Okay, so it's very, it's very. Oh, PG-13. What's it say? PG-13 for terror, violent content, teen drug use, and some strong language. Yeah, I didn't even know what the rating was, but yeah, this is definitely a PG-13 film, and that was definitely a first trailer. But again, I'm surprised that we that we even got a trailer for this this soon. What's the release date? June 2nd. We have this coming out on June 2nd. So a little bit earlier than films like Insidious, uh, Fear the Dark. But still, this is like... This is a horror film that we only kind of heard some talk about. I didn't even know that this thing had finished shooting. Damn. But yes, guys, that is going to do it for my trailer reaction for The Boogeyman. Uh, I do need to see more. I'm sure with the second trailer, I will be reacting to that, hopefully getting more. But again, there's not too much to go off of this. I don't know the story. We didn't get too much as far as even a story in here. Just your classic Boogeyman tale. He's going after the kids and shit. But, yes, I will be checking this one out. Uh, I am excited again to see Rob Savage tackling a bigger project. I wasn't the biggest fan of Dashcam, like, at all. I actually fucking hated that movie. I think it was my worst. I think it was the worst movie of 2022, in my opinion. But I did think that host was pretty pretty good. So, I am excited to see him go with a bigger uh, length like this. But yes, guys, that is going to do it for this trailer reaction. Let me know what you guys are thinking about this movie so far, as well as the video down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon in the next one. Take care.